so I bought the little Z125 Pro. Uh, I chose him over the Grom for many reasons. Um, I like the way it looks better. I think it looks a ton cooler. I like all the way from the front fender to the headlight assembly, although it's still Gromish. Um, I like the blinkers. I think they're uh, much nicer. I even like the the mirrors, although all I'm doing is looking at my arms. Uh, I like the placement of the key. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is just you know saying, just discussing little differences that I found that I thought were pretty interesting. This guy seems to have an oxygen sensor uh, on the exhaust, which is nice. Uh, the shop just looks cool. And you can look at the specs all online and all that other jazz. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, I know you can look all this stuff up just as easy as I can show it. And I'll get better video sometime during the day. Another thing that the Kawasaki did, in my opinion, over the Grom is they decided to put cotter pins in the axle. I appreciate that. I like that. They did the front also. Where the Grom does not do that. Uh, simple things like that. I don't like this uh, rear light it has a blue lens. I don't care for that that much. Of course, the tail section is ugly as sin. It's normal. Um, everything else about this thing I love. Yeah, you like it? It's just a big black video. Anyway, uh, I love the instrumentation. Uh, the instrument cluster, I find more appealing. Oh, shucks, I don't have my key with me. Um, I'll bring that guy back and we'll take a look at it. Anyway, you can see it online everywhere. I like the controls okay. Uh, I'm not much a fan of the run-stop switch. Uh, I just don't like it. Otherwise, it's a fine machine. I love it. Uh, another thing I like over the Grom is the gear shift selector so if you go down to first once you get it into first it's definitely noticeable that you're in first it stops immediately whereas the grom kind of falls down and it feels like you know it feels like you're not quite down yet um, it's a very small thing but transmissions are a big thing to me equally if you go up to fourth gear and there's no more gears, obviously. I never count. Even though there is a, a gear selector indicator, or gear indicator on the dash, I still try to get that fifth gear, and it's not there. And at least I feel it on this one. Whereas you don't in the Brom, it just feels like it's gonna go up some more. So these are just little differences. I'll probably do a video on the way to work tomorrow or something like that. But I rode tonight, had a stinking blast. Love this thing, love, love, love it. It's a pant load of fun. Uh, I'll get some more videos up, some more junk like that. I just wanted to get this up and get it going. Love the Z125 Pro. This is a 2017. This is the first one our dealership had. I got some pictures of it in the box and all that other jazz. Hey, maybe I'll show them now.